18 people shot, six are dead. The scale of violence that just happened in our city is unprecedented. Six people died, more were injured. Our city is shook. More arrests, new details, and yet many more questions tonight. Nearly three. CBS 13's Valina Jones joins us on set now with video and interview you'll see only on CBS 13. And Smiley appears to be holding a handgun. Why? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is here getting answers. A homeless man is being called a hero after shielding a group of women from the gunfire. CBS 13's Steve Large spoke with that hero tonight in an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. You know, we're given opportunities every second that we're alive. The Redding mom who faked her own kidnapping in 2016 has now officially pleaded guilty. Sherry, what do you want to say to the public? Sherry Papini's jailhouse release quickly turned chaotic. You cheated on your husband. We talked about PTSD. Right now, for a Stockton student killed on campus, the 15-year-old girl stabbed multiple times by an intruder. Star catcher Alicia Reynaga's family and coaches sharing these photos with CBS 13 of Alicia in action. Tonight, in a collaboration with CBS News, we examine crime often going without punishment. Your agency has one of the best homicide clearance rates in the country. Why? It's not an accident, and it's not uh, luck. I'm Chief Meteorologist Nick Mariano with this first alert action day. 107 in Marysville, 105 coming in for Davis, 106 in Vacaville. This is dangerous heat from 107 in Elk Grove, 107 in Stockton. And Authorities in Placer County are investigating the disappearance of a 16-year-old girl in Truckee as a possible abduction. That breaking news regarding the search for missing Truckee teen Kylie Rodney. A volunteer dive team says they have found her car with a body inside. It's a crime that has cost Californians an estimated $2 billion a year. Employers essentially stealing money from employees. So for 17 years, you never got a raise. 69 cents a gallon, a gas station glitz. It was crazy. It turned into a, like a circus within a matter of minutes. A local gas station manager who accidentally set his pumps to just 69 cents a gallon is now fired. Well, it was a mistake that I did. Four days later, the family set up this GoFundMe account seeking to raise back that $20,000, give it to the gas station. Now, the five-year-old local Little League player whose walk-up dance, you go, buddy, is going viral. That's Ben Sedlowski with the Manteca T-Ball Cubs busting out just about every dance move in the book. He might have picked it up for me, but it definitely was not his father. 